And I'm back. <laughs> and uh, after cleaning the microphone a little, <laughs> I'm good to go. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's see. Where were we left off? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna train this guy to be a master fur trapper. There are a couple of uh, professions you can only learn in the new world. Fur trapper is one of them. The others are cotton planter, tobacco planter and sugar planters. You can only learn those professions from the locals, from the Indians. So, But they can teach it to, um, to other people. So once you have one tobacco planter, you can use it to... Uh, oh, this is actually fair price. To train more. Let's see... I want 700? Yeah, that's fine. Rum coats cloth. Oh, thank you. Master sugar planters. I'll try to make a mental note, but I tend to forget. Ah, uh, and she doesn't give me anything. Right, this guy... I guess over here is fine. It's not ideal with all the desert, but uh, there is some deer there. Eventually I want like, I don't know, maybe ten colonies and, and not too far apart, really. I want them to be... Uh, oh, these are the French, by the way. I want them to be easily defendable. I will go home to Amsterdam. See what we can do. Let's search for treasure is always a risky one. Uh, because it might upset the Indians. Uh, occasionally you yield lots and lots of cash, but I'm, I'm gonna stay clear. I want the Indians to be my friends. And here are the Tupi tribe. Yeah, it's a massive continent, this. I guess I could use another scout. Oh, they have a choir happy, they're providing me with gifts and all that. 41%? Yeah, there's just one guy <laughs> ringing the Liberty Bells. That's my entire main colony. <laughs> I definitely need more people, but uh, first I want to set up trade. And probably a wagon train at some point. You get a lot of, lot of messages about prices dropping and rising. And for the moment it's not very... Uh, very important information. Season scouts, I'll have those. Expert silver miners, I don't think I have any silver anywhere. Let's see, let's bring trade goods and tobacco, sorry, uh, tools and tobacco, because I think they needed it. And how much does a wagon train cost if I just want to buy one? Hmm. I'll just let this guy uh, work 20 lumber into it and see if he uh, can drop the price a little. Because trading with that capital city is probably the key to uh, starting a very, very good economy. I'm quite happy with uh, the situation for the moment. The French are a little bit too close for comfort, but uh, we haven't officially met, so... We'll see. And I think this is a decent spot, even though it is lots of desert and crap like that. There is a piece of silver over here. I don't think it's accessible by boat, though. Unless I built right on this little spot over here. Sorry for making disgusting no noises occasionally. Yeah, this will be uh, the fur city. I only get one food from this. Ah, oh, that's pretty bad, really. Yeah, it's not not great. Not great. One mixed forest. So we just specialized in uh, pretty much producing fur eventually. <coughs> For now, it's just a guy farming.
Tory sentiment is on the rise. Let's build a road between these two cities. Now having a, a city just mine silver is also quite lucrative and for the moment we definitely just need to be in this for the money. Excellent, let's complete that wagon train. They give me a map, surrounding area. Let's scout out the south. Excellent, the wagon train. We can uh, start doing docks again and start ringing those liberty bells. I'll put the cargo in this uh, wagon train. I will visit the Indians with it. And my ship can go home again. Once it's home, I hope I have traded with the Indians and they will give me probably a decent amount of cash for the products I'm offering right now. Pioneer has reverted. Run out of tools. Every time I make an improvement like a road or plow the field, uh, they use up tools. Expert fur trappers, we already have those. And why are you not giving me any gifts and, and goodies and stuff like that? Yes, they'll want 1500 for this tobacco. Uh, let's push it a little bit further. Let's do one more. 1750, thank you. Tools and trade goods. I've got some tools for you next turn. Now that is really some sweet cash I'm bringing in. Once again, 1500 please. Excellent, thank you. Tobacco and trade goods, I shall buy them in the Netherlands. We'll make these Indians into regular tobacco junkies. And expert silver miners are available. And the farmer is always handy. It can go to Fur City pretty much. Six tobacco, six coats. Uh, so far, they quite love me, even though I'm squeezing them for money. I will plow this particular broadleaf uh, forest. I will make it into uh, farmland. More fur trappers. <laughs> 48. <coughs> That's not a lot. I think the tools is the last thing I sold to the Indians, so they never buy the same thing twice in a row. I think I did the right thing by buying two tobacco and one uh, shipment of tools. I will sell every single shipment to the Indians and use that money to really, you know, kickstart my colonies a little. Tobacco planters in the capital, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Now this guy can... Uh, Probably just, yeah, go over here, start mining the silver. But I don't think this is actually connected to the ocean. I think this is a lake. Hmm. So is this, but I can link this lake by building a city over here. It will function like a little channel. And then I can reach this piece of silver. So I'll, I'll use this guy to scout out the coastline for now. And I will have to found a colony uh, to the south. 
that will link that entire lake. That's actually, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'll unload the tobacco and then put six on the ship. There we go. Take the shipment back to the Netherlands. More tobacco for you. Last time you paid me seventeen fifty. And once again. Thank you, sir. More fur trappers. I'm looking for cotton planters and... I'll probably... I won't need sugar planters. I don't think I'm gonna be in the sugar business from the looks of it. Well, maybe over here. This is the right terrain for it. 1500 is my price, sir. There you go. This is actually pretty good music in the background now. I think that merchantman will just be uh, hauling in tobacco and tools and stuff like that just to sell. One, two. Can also use trade goods once these guys, uh, yeah, once this uh, goes up higher. I still have uh, lots of money. Let's purchase a galleon. It's the biggest trade ship you can get. And let's get some people. All I can get now is petty criminals. That's not uh, not very good. Let's do a shipment of horses. And some guns we can sell to the Indians. Oh yeah, let's get an artillery. These will get uh, increasingly more expensive the more you buy them back home. But I want a few just to get my main cities have one artillery in case the Indians get any idea. Sometimes you just randomly attack a city. Season scouts. 288 gold. Thank you. It was just broke. But that will be fixed now. 1500 I guess. I don't think this guy will be paying 1750 again. 1500 is a, d is a fair price. I buy this stuff for 600 so... It's a pure profit. I already visited uh, that particular village. Oh, that uh, was not my intention. Okay, to the south it is. Seems to be a dead end now. More fur trappers. Not what I was looking for. Let's see, this guy can uh, start training with the Indians in the north. You can go to this village over here. You can stay put. This guy can actually start uh, working on the cotton we get. I'll unload a male and a female horse and they can start breathing. I'll sell the rest to the Indians. <laughs> I 
Actually, I should probably sell tobacco and then something else and then tobacco again. So let's not do horses and muskets in one go. Let's leave the muskets for now. Have the horses. Wow, I actually pay quite handsome. How about you pay... Oh, that's not good. His patience with my haggling was exhausted. That's a bad thing. Now my wagon train has to go back. I shall become a master farmer. Yes. I've trained this guy in this other village, so... They will only train me once. The capital is a fine product... Of, sorry, producer of farmers for me. In honor of our recent wedding to our first wife, we have graciously decided to raise your tax rate. But I liked paying no taxes at all. Oh, fine, we'll kiss your stupid ring. King increases military spending. He constantly um, adds uh, stuff to his continental army. Which uh, we will eventually have to face at some point. Excellent! I found the Fountain of Youth. You can't see it, but I'm actually sort of dancing in my chair right now. Fountain of Youth is awesome. Well, this is an excellent point to call this a video, and in the next video you will see what the Fountain of Youth actually, do actually does, because this is great.